Hey guys, this is Zaman and welcome back to another new tutorial of PowerPoint School. In our today's tutorial, I'll show you how to make this infographic slide animation in just PowerPoint. So without wasting any further time, let's start the tutorial. Here I have already taken a blank slide. So first, to change the background color, go to design. Click on format background. And from here, I'll pick this color. Now close it. Go to home, pick a rectangle shape, drag it over here, resize it a bit from this two side, go to format from shape outline, select no outline, pick a rounded corner rectangle, drag it over here, increase the roundness, resizing a bit, go to format from shape outline, select no outline, holding the shift key, place it over the rectangle then press ctrl d to duplicate bring it to here go to format from rotate select rotate left 90 degree resize it a bit bring it to here this will be the hand of our first man so here we need to make some adjustment select this one make it a bit wider holding the ctrl shift drag this rounded corner rectangle to this side make some adjustment with this upper rectangle and then make another duplicate of this rectangle place it here make it a bit wider and increase the height holding ctrl shift drag it to this side and then pick a circle holding ctrl shift drag it over here make it like this i'm increasing its size a bit more place it over here and then select all of these Go to merge shape select union bring it to here after that we can go forward to make the female body shape pick a trapezoid for that drag it over here resize it from this side a bit drag this yellow dot to make it thinner from the upper portion from shape outline select no outline pick a rounded corner rectangle drag it over here increase the roundness Go to format from shape outline select no outline then bring it to here in the middle press ctrl d to duplicate this rounded corner rectangle bring it to here rotate it place over here rotate a bit more now we have to zoom in this rounded corner rectangle will be the hand of our female body so we have to make some adjustment here also select this upper portion decrease its size and increase the size of this rectangle press ctrl d to duplicate this one bring it to here rotate it place over here now we have to adjust this upper rectangle after that pick a circle holding ctrl shift drag it over here place it in the middle now go to format from shape outline select no outline then zoom out select this rectangle press ctrl d to duplicate bring it to here make it a straight one we need to place this rectangle over this trapezoid resize it make another copy of it and then we have to make some more adjustment with this circle select all of these from merge shape select union bring it to here resize it a bit so that it matches with the previous body shape after that we can pick a rectangle drag it over our whole slide go to format from shape fill changes color to this from shape outline select no outline then right click on it send it to back pick a text box drag it over here add some percentage value selecting all the text increase the font size make it bold center change the font color to this place it over here holding ctrl shift drag it to down it will be duplicated decrease the font size change the text place over here pick a straight line holding the shift key drag it over here Go to format from shape outline 
increase the weight to four and a half point again from shape outline we need to change the color now click on the small arrow from here change the dash type to round and cap type to round now close it place this line shape over here make another copy of this text box decrease the font size add some text here I'm adding some sample text place over here holding the control button we have to select these four element holding control shift drag it to right and it will be duplicated from here I'm just changing this value and change this text place this text box over here select this line from shape outline changes color now from our previous slide I'll just copy this upper portion and paste it here after that what we need to do select this rectangle which is in the back then holding the control button select this first body shape go to format from merge shape select subtract do the same for the female body shape holding the control button select from merge shape select subtract now we have to pick our rectangle drag it over this male body shape go to format from shape field changes color from shape outline select no outline then right click on it and send it to back holding the control shift drag it to this side make some changes with its size from shape field changes color right click on it and send it to back now we can go for the animation part so go to animation click on animation pane to look over our animation status and to add the first animation on this element select fly in from add animation keep this on click duration one second click on this drop down arrow go to effect option increase the smooth end and press ok now you have to select this first text box from add animation select font color from effect option change the color to this set start after previous duration 0.50 seconds select the second text box do the same select font color from effect option change its color set a start with previous duration 0.50 seconds select this line from add animation we have to select wipe from effect option select from left set start after previous select this last text box from add animation select fade set start after previous now if you start the slideshow you can see that our first few animations are working perfectly as we need the same animation on this female body shape i will use the animation painter tool so select the first one click on animation painter to copy and paste it here set it start after previous select this first text box click on animation painter to copy the animation and paste the animation here make sure you change the color from effect option and then select the second text box click on animation painter to copy paste it here change its color also select this line shape click on animation painter to copy paste it over here select this last text box click on animation painter to copy and paste it here and we are done now if we start the slideshow you can see that our whole animation is working perfectly you can download this template for free i have given the download link in the video description we work so hard to make this type of templates so please show us your support that really inspire us if you are new to this channel make sure to subscribe share with your friends and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you get a notification when we upload a new video so that's all for today hope to see you in the next tutorial and thanks for watching